Well, Wes, I see you want to talk a little bit about the components that make up VRP 2.0. What can you tell us about all of these? All right. Well, thank you, Bob. Um, yes, yeah, just an overview of the different components that you'll have in a VRP 2.0 environment or that you can have in a VRP 2.0 environment. Um, first off, we have the resiliency manager, one per data center. And this is basically the overall manager of the environment. And uh, through the resiliency manager, we're going to be connecting with our user interface, a browser based environment. We have our Cassandra database that's in there replicated between sites, so it doesn't matter which one you connect to to perform your operations or your configurations. Um, this is where you're going to be doing the bulk of your work from. The infrastructure management server is the workhorse of this environment. The infrastructure management server will have assets connected to it and will initiate start, stops as part of a migration process, part of takeover processes, uh, rehearsal processes, all by the direction of the resiliency manager. So the infrastructure manager, uh, management server connects to our assets. The assets are the components that we are managing in this environment. So this includes virtual machines, hosts that are running applications, it also manages storage and replication. It also manages service groups in VCS environments. So service groups that are running in a global cluster um, in between two data centers. And uh, the, we will be going from the resiliency manager through the infrastructure manager that's connected to specific assets, these components and initiating actions, starts, stops, um, role reversals and replications. We can do migrations between sites, takeovers from one site from another one, rehearsal operations, which was for testing purposes, et cetera. Okay. Next down the line is the VRP data mover gateway. This is new to 2.0. This is a new software-based replication appliance that's applied to VMware VMs only. Replication out here. And we would have one of these per VMware high availability cluster between sites in each data center. So from a high availability cluster, VMware, one site to a VMware high availability cluster at another site. We also have the Veritas InfoScale Operations Manager, VOM, that gives us a hook into the Resiliency Manager to handle uh, Veritas Cluster Server global cluster op uh, options service groups. We also have something known as resiliency groups. So if you're familiar with VCS and what a service group is, you're pretty familiar with what a resiliency group is. A resiliency group is a collection of one or more assets that we are managing for migrations, rehearsals, takeovers, starts and stops between our data centers or within our own data, uh, a single data center. So the resiliency group is the unit of migration, so to speak. So we initiate migration, rehearsal, and takeover actions on the resiliency group itself. Again, made up of our uh, assets. Service objectives is a new thing with VRP 2.0 that allows us to define behavior to a resiliency group. So the behavior is local monitoring, local workload management, which means we can start and stop at a local data center or recovery service objectives that gives us the ability to perform local workload management starts and stops, but also migrations, takeovers, and rehearsals. Okay. And we assign these to a resiliency group when we're creating that resiliency group. Virtual business services is the ability to define startup order and shutdown order for resiliency groups. So the resiliency group is made up of the assets. If we have certain assets that need to start up before others, we put them in a virtual business service. This is not to be confused with VCS and, and VOM virtual business services. They do basically the same thing, but two different environments. And the last thing here, resiliency domain. Basically, every component that you would have here in one or more in two data centers, basically, all reside in the same resiliency domain. Okay. And oh. there you have it. There's all the pieces. That's a lot of them, yep. but I appreciate you taking us through them. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks a lot.